Welcome everyone, today we're playing a legendary game. I know it's not something that we usually play on the channel, but trust me, this game is so much fun, especially if you used to play Micro Machines back in the day. We have a ton of different game modes to show you, plus a mixed reality one which we're going to get into. Now I know you're thinking right now, <laughs> This can't be that good, you big idiot. Dude, oh, I've had so much fun in this game. It's taken me about four hours to start recording it. Let's get straight in. Well, first of all, we're going to go into Stunt Showdown and do some stunts. Because you know your boy Wix does his own stunts. All right, so here's my little bedroom. This actually reminds me so much of what my bedroom used to look like. Especially this over here. Comment down below which one you guys have or used to have the Do Not Disturb Gaming in Progress poster on your wall. Let's get straight into the track building like a boss. Now, we're not going to worry about these mediocre point system things here. 12. 500, 5,000. Finished with 7,500. That's our goal. Let's do it. So in our lovely double bed over here, we got the starting line. As you can see, there's our car. <laughs> so we need to build a track to go through these things. Um, oh, God. All right, there's a track down there. My alarm's going off. Typical YouTuber alarm. It goes off at midday. All right, all right, around here. And then we have to build a ramp here to come around to go back up. It's harder than you think to control the cars too, guys. It's not just a hold a trigger down kind of thing. You've got boost button. You have to feather the throttle so you don't hit the corners. Just like a real micro machine. And that's where we end up right there by Peach's Castle. Well, first of all, let me go into my little wristwatch of tricks right now. Loads of different things to work with. I'll probably put a loop-de-loop -loop in there just for style points. What we're going to do is we're just going to go up like this. And I've already f***ed it. Make a little drop here, and then we're going to drop all the way down. Oh, we got to connect to that track, though. This is harder than I thought. <laughs> now, it's 7,500 points. We're doing it. Pretty sure if we do this and just have the track cut off there, we'll, we'll land down here safely, I'm pretty sure. Now, we come around here like an absolute boss. Oh, sharp alarm. Link that up, link that up. We're going to have to use a boost here to get past the jump, but that's cool. Let's land the jump right about there. I'm feeling confident in that. Once Johnny Wicks ramped 70 bosses and helicopters in nothing but a granny scooter, this is nothing to him. Then we got a ramp that goes over my socks and pants. And then the last little jump straight over and onto the finish line. Uh, I'm a bit worried about this. <laughs> I'm sure we'll land on our feet or wheels. Well, so there's multiple unique ways on doing a car racing. You can either literally from here just watch the car do its thing. Let's see if it can make it over this. Oh my god, I landed it! And I stacked it straight into the corner. I just crashed my car into my dirty boxes. Or we can do it in this mode where we're actually... This looks so weird, dude. Where you're the same size as the car, you're just a miniature person, and you just drive behind the car. Oh, this is... Oh, dude, this is my favourite. Oh, f*** oh, me. Hang on, I need a minute. Yeah, that really triggered my vertigo just then. I mean, it's not as immersive looking like on the 2D screen, but when you're in it, like, I actually feel the size of a rat right now. I mean, you do need VR legs, guys. I wouldn't jump straight into this camera angle if you're a VR noob, right? But, you know, Johnny Wicks, he's got thousands of years experience on this. I actually started doing VR back in the Ice Age with the, the mammoths and stuff. What? Don't stack it. Oh, no, we need to seriously boost when we go over that. Okay, so that's that one, which so far is my absolute favourite. Or, if you're feeling very VR confident, you can actually be the car. Here we go. I am the car. I'm pretty sure I'm going to be sick doing this. Oh, my lord. Oh, my god. Vulg, all right, yeah, I'm, I've got it. This is fine, absolutely fine. We're going to boost over it this time. Oh! I just whack my face on the thing. Oh, yeah, and we did it. Dude, this is so fun. It's such a nostalgia rush taking me back to the days when I was a kid doing this. So I didn't actually puke up in that. I wasn't as sick as I thought. There was a couple of times where I hit my face and my teeth on the jumps. Just out of pure fright for speed, guys. Right, so that's time trial. Let's skip on to the next game mode. Right, we're going to go through a couple of more of these game modes, and then we're going to go to mixed reality. I'm going to be building a full Micro Machines course in my room, and I'm going to try not to rage when I crash constantly. Go on to demolition. By the way, guys, I know we didn't see the points. You're probably in the comments right now typing away to yourself he didn't get 7500 points i did i just didn't fancy showing it because i'm not a bragger here we are back in my good old room so for demolition basically what you need to do is break as much things as possible i'm good at this because i have anger issues let's go and deal 1500 points of destruction easy win guys lie down nice and comfy on my bed and analyze what destruction we can cause i mean we could just hit it over with our hand but that's no fun we want to use a, a miniature car to do it look at this little thing oh they've only given us a certain an amount of things to use as well. Look, it's going to be a bit more difficult than Johnny Four. Now, I think the best way to do this, I'm a bowling expert as well, guys. I don't know if you knew that. Sorry about that. My voice just broke. I'm actually seven times world champ temping bowling champion, and um, so I know all about physics and how to break stuff. What you don't want to do is you don't want to ramp this car up and hit midline because all the ones underneath they ain't going to get hit. You need to hit it where it matters. Here we go. Yeah! 
<laughs> a 16 time temping bowling champ right here. You didn't believe me. Guys in the comments, you need to comment now. If you didn't believe me, comment down right now and say, Johnny just made me look like a complete idiot. I'm not only the master of manipulation in Ghost of the Ball, guys, I'm also master of destruction. I'll be taking that name from now on. I'm the jack of all trades. Also activated the jack in the box. I didn't even see that, guys. That's how good I am. Quickly hit up Sandbox. Right, so Sandbox is for all you Bone Labs, Blade and Sorcery fans, where you just want to do your own thing, you know? You don't want to play by the rules. This is where Sandbox comes in. Let's turn this room into an absolute nightmare for my mum to clean up. It starts like a complete maniac with a jump, just straight off the bat. After that, we're going up. Put a ring there for no reason whatsoever, just to jump through to make us look like more legends. So, well, guys, you can also do tricks with these cars. I'm going to be showing you that on my very first jump. What's that noise? I don't remember turning that on. There's a ghost in my room, guys. Two thousand years later. Well, right, guys, here we are. I've completed the racetrack of all my Chrome Machine racetracks. As you can see, the place looks like an absolute mess. <laughs> Let me take you through this absolutely intense course. First things first, we got to jump straight off the bat, like I said. Take a nice tight corner. Then we take a couple of bends around the lampshade and the horrible alarm clock that keeps making noises. Then we got our first major drop. I call this one the sick drop. They did, but you call it that. I call it that because after you do the drop, not one, not two, but three three spirals to go through that will make you sick. Especially if you're in the camera mode, I think you're going to be in. After that, we go up, we take a tight corner around the skateboard, straight over the toy box, over this annoying little creature that keeps making buzzy noises. Don't know how to turn that off, guys. I'm going to have to ask my mum about that. Then we've got a very tight U-bend right here, leading up to one of the most sick, steep inclines you've ever met. This is higher than Eiffel Tower. This is steeper than the Himalayas. You're going to get some serious G-forces coming up this at speed. Then we go along the shelving unit right here, coming up to our first major jump. I call this one the Ring of Fire, a.k.a. Curry Knight. Over the jump, through the two spinning rings. If you crash this, you land on the three spirals and get covered in sick. Straight after you land that jump, you're like, oh, God, I'm glad that's over. I didn't die. You've then got another spiral just to keep you on your toes. We come around here, another slight bend, and this is where we go with the moon, guys. I call this one the ladder to heaven. Another tight little corner, and now we're on the roof, guys. This reminds me of Toy Story. You've got a nice little run up here over the fan, and I call this one don't look down for obvious reasons. It's not too bad at the moment, but when we're in the size of the micro machine and we look down during this, where are I up? Even that. Even that makes me a little bit sick. We got this massive jump, probably the longest in the entire track. We jump across here, don't look down, obviously. We land it, we think it's finally over. Thank for that. It's not. Sorry about that. We start going down a nice little slope here into what I like to call the solar system of nausea. We slip and slide through the solar system. Now, this is the stunt right here that will probably will kill you due to G-forces. I'll just call it the big drop. You come out from the sun and you make your way back to Earth down this incredibly steep slope right here. As soon as you get to the bottom of this, you You've got um, the longest jump known to mankind. Not only is it a massive jump to the shelving unit, but it's actually up. Yeah, that's right. The ramp's up there. It's all right, though. We got enough of a run up. Land here safely. <laughs> and then we got all that momentum, all that speed. What are we going to do with it? Oh, we're just going to put a really tight corner at the end of it. So as soon as we land, we need to put on the brakes really quick so we don't crash into the wall. Then we come along here over the bookshelf and then the end of the track where we scoot off nice and gently and land gently on my bed. Put in the comments down below, guys, what you want me to call this track. It's an absolute nightmare. I'm just going to do it in a chase view instantly. <laughs> that's how much confidence I've got in my track, guys. Oh my god, okay, I made that. We're up. We're um, straight into the wall instantly. I forgot about that corner. All right, let me just get used to the track first, guys. All right, I'm just gonna. That is a tight bend after that. I didn't realize I'd done that. Oh my god, look at this. This guy is absolutely nauseated. And crashed straight into the toy box. Okay, this is where we have to be really serious, guys. We need our first boost right here. Oh, can help. <laughs> oh, so nauseating. Let's put NOS on during that as well. There we go. <laughs> Oh my god, a legend! Guys, a legend! Okay, now we're going up to um, dangerous territory. Let's see how this goes. Over the. Oh god, oh my god, I do not want to do that in car cam. Here we go, over the ramp. Beautiful, up here, make sure to slow down. Yep, we're going around the lampshade. Oh, I'm so glad the camera doesn't follow it over. <laughs> Oh my god, that is insane! My legs went. This is the bit the scary if you look down, so I'm suggesting to myself, don't look down. Oh, that's high. Okay, I did it anyway. Here we go. Another big jump coming right up. Don't look down. Beautiful. Through the solar system. Don't hit the corners. Big drop. Big drop. Oh, God. We needed NOS there. I forgot about that. Vin Diesel always told me, use your NOS. Oh, hell yeah. Round this corner and lean, land safely on my bed. Look at that. Beautiful. I've gone back to the start of the race because I forgot to do what I promised you, which is a sick little stunt. 
That that wasn't it. That wasn't the stunt. Just crashing 60 miles per hour into a wall. Oh, legend! <laughs> what does this look like? Out of curiosity, in the car mode. Oh, God, that's... Oh, dude, hang on a minute. Wait a minute. That's even more terrifying. Okay. Let's do it in this mode. I know you're pleading with me to do it in this mode. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> Here we go. The big drop. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh. It's literally like being on a roller coaster. Oh, wow. I've got my fastest time. <laughs> okay, here we are, guys. We are now in my office. Um, the thing with this is, as you can see, a very shobby setup with my headset mic. And if we go back here behind my curtain... Is that? That, that should have been a cat. I don't know what they've been doing back there. What I'm going to do now is build an epic racetrack around my office here. All right, here we go, folks. Let's try not to get strangled and hung up by my mic cord. We start off there. We take a nice leisurely stroll down to my desk. Three loop-de-loop -loop straight off the bat. I don't give a sh After the loop-de-loop, -loop, we need to slow down because we're going up to a high corner here, which goes all the way up. And guess what? Once you go up, you got to come down. All the way down, straight into the first jump. As you land the jump, we go straight into a portal. Portal comes out here, and by the looks of it, it's gonna miss let's just quickly fix that there we go we should land right on the edge of that just to make things more exciting now as soon as we come out of there we need to slam on those brembo brakes baby because there's a corner right there after that we go all the way down to the carpet all the way back up but you've never seen this before guys you may have seen the loop-de-loop -loop at the start of a drop at the bottom of a drop who's seen the loop-de-loop -loop at the top of a slope no one because physics don't allow it to happen straight after that we need to slow down for a little bend right here last little jump and back over the finish line let's add some traps Okay, that's very scary. Oh, God, we just made it onto that spike over here. There's a ball chasing us now. We need to hurry up. Okay, we need to hurry up straight over that. Straight over the trap. We got the whole way through that, unbelievably. And then what stopped us? I placed the portal wrong. <laughs> that's right, guys. I'm not deleting parts of my trap to make it more easier for me. What are you on about? Yes, yes, the ball's after you. Don't worry about it. Go for the big drop. Oh, you idiot. It's a big drop. Please tell me I placed the portal right this time. Oh, yeah, go, little car. Oh, God, you got to boost down that. You're going to have to boost. It's fine. Oh, my God, you see him. Another ball after you. Don't worry about it. Round the corner. You just hit it a little bit. Never mind. Over the jump and round the corner. Oh, beautiful. There we go, guys. So if it, what the fuck? There's a ghost. Yeah, a ghost just gave me a right hook for no reason just then. Anyway, if you want this game for yourself, guys, it's a lot of fun. Link in the description. Thank you to the developers of the game for sponsoring this video. I'll see you in the next one.